Greetings programs. Today we're going to talk about Firepower Custom Security Intelligence. So first off, why would we, why do we care about that? What would be a, a good reason to have it? Well, I was having a conversation with somebody recently that had this particular issue. They had a, a third party SOC, outsourced SOC, very common, and the analysts were, analysts were always uh, messaging the uh, security team, hey, we need you to add this and we need you to block that and, you know, based on things that they were seeing. And it was, you know, very intrusive and, you know, creating a lot of friction in the security engineers' lives. And, you know, they asked me, you know, there's just got to be a better way, you know, we're, con you know, constantly, us, you know, updating the policies on the firewalls. And I said, well, yes, absolutely. Of course, there is a better way. So what what's a better way? Well, there's, there's a number of ways to solve this, but a very simple, basic way to do it is you just create a custom security intelligence feed that you allow the SOC analyst to update. So it's, it's just a text file that lives on a web server and Firepower Management Center grabs uh, that file and takes the contents and creates a blacklist, which it then uh, pushes out to the sensors. And the great thing about this is there's no policy deploy involved. That's the nice thing about security intelligence. It just happens automatically. So be basically, after FMC updates, the gets the update of blacklist. It should be within like a minute or so that all the sensors are going to have that file and are going to uh, start blocking anything that got added to that. So let's take a quick look at the lab environment we're going to use to test this out. Pretty straightforward. We have a jump box. Uh, we have a dev box that's going to host our, our web server and our blacklist file. We have a firepower management center and a firepower uh, threat defense sensor that we're going to use for testing. All right, so now that we take, we've set the stage with all of that, let's go ahead and uh, set up our, our file and start serving it. So first off, let's um, go over here and start our web server. And we're just going to use the built-in web server in Python, so it's super duper easy. Let's do python-m uh, http.server. First typo of the day, Python 3. There we go. So now we're serving up anything that's in that directory. And then we'll do a pop over here. And we'll just do a vi blacklist.txt. And I'm just going to put a uh, uh, just a comment in the top of the file. Save it. There we go. All right, cool. And uh, let's actually just add a couple of dummy entries into that while I'm thinking about it. I'll just make some stuff up. So that's the format, real basic. Now that we've done that, let's verify that we can actually reach this. So we're gonna hop, we're gonna hop over to the jump box and I'm just gonna refresh this. Yep, serving it up. And if we come over here, we can see that uh, we had a get command from our uh, from our jump box. So we know that's working. So let's go ahead and get this configured on our uh, sensor. So over here, we go to objects, object management. Intelligence, network list speeds. And we're going to add a list, add a network list and feed. And just to save myself some typing, let's copy this here. Oh, it's a sock name, type of feed. That's where the URL goes. 
and set the update to every 30 minutes. So. Okay. Now that that's done, we need to go to our access control policy and add that feed. There it is. We'll put that into our block list over there. We'll save it. So this one time, since we've modified the access control policy to include a new block list, we'll need to push that down. But subsequently, when that when that file gets updated, um, it won't require a deploy. So the, the deploy is just because we're changing the configuration. After this, a deploy won't be required. So while that's cooking, let's go and pick out a test. So uh, I think um, we'll try... Uh, example.com okay so we're getting something from that that's cool so we'll just ping okay cool so we're gonna we're just gonna grab this address here We know that it works. We can ping it. We can get stuff back from it. But let's let's add it to our blacklist. That's done. And actually, now that we've done that, let's just just for funsies. Let's see what we can do with this here. Oops. So that's good. Yep, we're good. Okay. Let's just try doing a little verification on our sensor. This is you would normally do this. I'm just trying to show you kind of what's happening under the hood. I put it. Again, there we go. All right, cool. So those files are going to live in RSF. The IP should be this IP reputation download. There it is. And it's going to be. It's going to be one of these, so we'll just let's just cat a couple of these. Let's see if we can figure out which one it is. And let's just guess that it's going to be this the biggest one. This one here, maybe. No, that's a whitelist file. Let's, let's try. Let's try this one. And so we're gonna. So these are UUIDs. So yeah, okay, that's the global. Let's try this one. Eventually we'll get the right, we'll find it. Let's try this one. That's us. Sweet. Okay, well, it took three tries. So there's our there's our blo our block list. As you can see, it doesn't have the updated entries that we added before. So let's fix that real quick. Back over to the jump box, and we're going to update. I'm going to show you that this updates without a deploy. So, analysis you know, update the file, and. What we're going to do is we're just going to manually force a refresh. So you can set that timer to be as low as five minutes. But in this particular case, we have it set to 30. So I'm just going to go ahead and click update feeds. Yes. 
And now that that's happened, we'll see that you can see that the web that the this is IP address of Firepower Management Center. It went out and, and grabbed the file a second time. All right. So now what's going to happen is it's, it'll it'll grab the file. It's going to process the file. That's going to take it the uh, changes and it's going to push it out to all the sensors. And it does take it does take a moment. So let's just uh, let's just keep an eye on this guy and wait for it to update. Wait a minute. While that's happening, let's go over and set up a filter. I'm filter on this address right here. Go to the live log. And we're going to select destination IP. And put this in. Bye. Okay, cool. Now, let's go over here and see if this is updated yet. There it is. Okay, didn't take too long. All right, so now let's see if we can. Uh, access that we can't it's blocked so let's get verification from the firewall there you go so if we expand this to get a better look here we go security intelligence category sock blacklist all right so there you have it, pretty easy to do. And uh, thank you for hanging out and I hope this video is helpful. Have a great day.